Joining me now on the sunny side of sports is my special guest, Joshua Yarrow. Joshua is a student and soccer player at Georgetown University here in Washington. Joshua, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Now, I know you're from Ghana. Can you tell our Africa 54 viewers uh, what part of Ghana you're from? So I'm from Kumase, um, which is in the um, southern part of Ghana, um, and that's where I grew up. Talk a little bit about how you came here to the Washington area. You were at the Right to Dream Academy yeah. in Ghana. What was that like? Um, so I joined the Right to Dream Academy in 2006. And um, so the Right to Dream Academy is well, it's a, it's a foundation that was started by a man called Tom Vannon. And he came to Ghana and saw um, kids play. And he thought they really had the talent to um, play um, at the next level. And so, but had no help in getting to getting up happen, um, get on the stage where people can actually see their talent. And so he took upon himself and started the Right to Dream Academy where it was um, boarding, where kids will be able to play soccer and get coached by high level coaches and also at the same time be able to go to school and um, because he realized how important ed education is in the lives of athletes because I mean you can only play till you're about 35 maybe if you're right. lucky and what are you going to do with, with the rest of your life after that. So he figured out um, getting, educating um, young Ghanaians and giving them high level of coaching uh, would help them become better leaders to someday go back to Ghana and give back to the community in any way they can. Now, is that one of your goals to maybe return one day to Ghana to give back, as you say? Yeah, definitely. I would want to go back when I'm done with college to go back to Ghana and um, hopefully have a positive impact on my community and help in any way I can and um, so far that's, that's the plan and that's always been my dream to um, get all this, the one of education I've received um, both in high school and in my um, college years, take that knowledge back to my country and serve my country in any way I can. Now, uh, after Right to Dream, what was your path to the United States? Did you go directly to Georgetown? No, so I actually went to a private boarding school in um, California called the Kate School, which okay. is in Carpentier, a small town, which is about 20, 25 minutes drive from Santa Barbara. And um, so I went to the Kate School for three years, came over as a sophomore, um, and then through Kate, I was able to get to Georgetown. Talk about your first season with the Hoyas of Georgetown. Uh, how was it? It was great. I mean, I wouldn't trade up for any other team because um, I, we have a great coaching staff. All my teammates are real nice. And um, even the fans, like I, the support system at Georgetown was great. And people usually think like having a good team or having um, good coaches can, I mean, it, it will help you, but growing, um, developing as a player in an environment where you um, are always not stressed and have everything you need actually helps us as an athlete. And that's something that I got at Georgetown that I don't think I would have had in many places. Because my coaches, although they are my coaches, they also really care about how, I, how well I do in school and every other um, thing regarding my life. And that's something that really helped me throughout my season. Um, and my teammates are great. I really like them. And um, I wouldn't ask for any other teammates. They, they, they've been great. And together as a team, I think we did really well. And I think we're going to keep improving as a team um, without any doubt. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next season, what the next season has in store for us. In terms of how well you're doing at school, uh, what are you studying at Georgetown? Um, so I'm studying government in the college um, with a concentration in international relations. And um, people usually ask me why I do that. Well, um, <laughs> I want to be an international relations major because I, I definitely want to go back, one, go back to Ghana and work in our government. Um, and I think I remember telling my mom once what I was doing in college, and she was like, you want to be a politician? I'm like, <laughs> well, I want to work in the government. That doesn't mean I want to be a politician. But uh, I, mean, I definitely want to go back and um, help my country um, in, in various ways, because I think there are so many things about my country that, can, that could be changed. I'm not saying the leaders are not doing a great job. They, they've been fantastic. I mean, every, everyone I made that knows about Ghana always has something positive to say about Ghana, and that's part of how our leaders rule the country. And so I would want to continue that legacy and um, a few things that I, I would personally want to change. And, and so I think going into the government will actually give me that chance to influence a lot of lives in Ghana. 
Joshua Yarrow, our special guest on Africa 54. Joshua, uh, studying for uh, maybe a future government career and uh, playing some soccer yeah. at Georgetown University here in Washington. Thank you very much, Joshua. Thank you. <laughs> and sending it back to Vincent McCory. Well, thank you very much. Be sure to watch the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on Africa 54. Now that's our show for today. Uh, be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at viewerafrica.com for more news. Tune in to viewers evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC and in the mornings to Daybreak Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. From all of us in Washington, have a good night. Whoa.